Hello chess players, here is the today's position. We will begin with key positional observations of the puzzle in terms of pros and cons. We are playing as a white color. We have played castling on the king's side and our king is quite safe. We have queen and knight in the opponent's area. Let me show you. This is opponent's area. Two bishops are attacking towards the king like missiles. A dark square bishop is extremely powerful on this long diagonal. Now let us see the another side of the position. Black has played castling on the king's side but the king is virtual stalemate because our queen is controlling both the squares. Queen and knight they are far away from the game. Pianchetto bishop is absent and hence castling area of black king is weak. Black's rook a8 and bishop b7 are not active similar to our two rooks a1 and f1 now pause the video and try to find the sequence of moves that will lead to winning position in this game you can also write your moves in the comment box all right if you found queen h8 check amazing this is unbelievable move truly brilliant queen sacrifice because black has only one choice King capture queen and now knight capture f7 double and discovered check from the knight and bishop. So because of these two checks king has again only one square to move g8 and then knight h6 beautiful checkmate with the combination of bishop and knights. Yes we can checkmate the game with our knight and bishop we just have to find the right combination. Now you see. It is very easy to solve any position if we observe the board properly using the technique positional observation. We have solved this tricky position and we might be able to recreate similar position during our game. Hence, it is important to understand the steps that brought us to this tactical position. Therefore, let's begin from the starting. Game started with pawn d4, d5, queen spawn opening, c4. Queen's Gambit opening so that we can control the center with pawn e4 if opponent capture the pawn. Pawn e6, Queen's Gambit decline opening, black is preferring decline by pawn e6, knight c3, developing a minor piece and attacking on center squares. Knight f6, black is also developing knight using knight opposite knight technique and counter controlling center squares. Pawn e3, opening our bishop and controlling center square d4, pawn c5, cast defense symmetrical variation, knight f3, developing one more minor piece and controlling two center squares d4 and e5, knight c6, black is also using knight opposite knight technique and counter controlling center squares d4 and e5, bishop d3, developing one more minor piece and preparing for the castling. Bishop is 7. Black is also developing the bishop and preparing for the kingside castling. Castling to increase the king's safety. Pawn takes pawn. Here we have two options. Either e takes d4 or e takes d5. But here better move is e takes d5. Pawn takes knight. We can also capture back. Pawn takes back. Pawn takes back, castling. So here, black is completing their opening part. It looks like position is mirror and these type of games are generally slow in the progress unless either player make a mistake. If we see the position carefully, we are dominating the center with pawn d4, sorry, square d5, square e4, square e5 and black has control on square d5 only so we are dominating the center game continues knight e5 improving our knight and attacking on c6 pawn bishop b7 developing a bishop and defending their pawn bishop b2 activating our bishop preparing the bishop on the long diagonal knight d5 black is improving their knight on the center square and with this we get chance to play Queen h5 to create checkmate threat on the next turn. Pawn g6. Here, black made a small tactical mistake 
This creates weakness on g7, h6. Ideally, black should have played knight f6 to defend the checkmate. But black played pawn g6, which was bad. Queen f3, defending our queen. Bishop to d6. Black is now attacking our center knight. Pawn c4. Discovered support to knight. And our pawn is attacking to the knight. Knight b4. Now knight comes in our territory. And the knight is also attacking our bishop d3. Bishop back to b1. Defending our bishop. Queen c7. Black is preparing queen bishop battery. And creating more attackers on knight. Queen f6. We are also creating two defenders against black's two attacker. Now we have set our queen on f6 diagonal. Bishop e7. And here we arrived at a position. And now you know the solution. Queen h8. A brilliant queen sacrifice. King is forced to capture our queen. Knight f7. Double and discovered check from our bishop. King g8 is the only move. And Knight h6 checkmate. So this is brilliant checkmate combination with knight and bishop. Remember that aim is not to keep all the moves in our mind but understanding of piece placement and coordination are important. I have shared PGN file in the description box. Now let me show you the position for the next video. So here is the position of, of our next video. Check out my other videos and on the playlist. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.